Dear Mr. Harbor, here at Epic Games we would like to invite you for a trial. Forget mobile, forget PS4, forget Xbox, forget PC. Here at Fortnite we are working on a new way to play, and we want you to be a part of it. This letter, this single piece of paper would change my life. I was invited for an alpha test of a new way to play Fortnite. In the letter is a plane ticket to North Carolina where Epic Games is located. I packed my suitcase and I drive to the airport. In the letter it mentions I will live on site with other people in my background. I assumed YouTubers and Twitch streamers. I would be paid for my daily work as well as some cool gear to show off to our fans when we got back. I was so excited, just what was this new way to play and why was I chosen? I land in North Carolina and I'm about to call a cab to get to the address provided. But I see a limo driver. He was holding up a sign with my name. I walk up to him with a lot of nervousness, worried it was a different person but with the same name. He sees me and says, Mr. Harbor, all excited. He grabs my bags and shows me the limo. I knew Fortnite was growing into a huge booming business the likes no one has seen before, but I didn't expect a limo or an excited limo driver to treat me like a king. The driver gets my things in the limo and places me in the back. There I find another letter for me. Dear Mr. Harper, Epic Games thanks you for taking a huge step forward in our world of video games. We hope you enjoy your stay. When you arrive at Epic, please tell the host at the desk who you are and they will get you to your room. Alpha testing begins tomorrow. I was so hyped. The limo driver drove me to Epic Games where, like the letter said, I walked in and I found a lady at the desk. I told her who I was and, like the limo driver, she got really excited. I thought to myself, I'm not some celebrity or anything special, I, I just play Fortnite. She kindly asked me to sign a form. I assumed it was a liability clause. I ask her for a few moments to read it over and she gets firm and tells me to sign it now or forfeit the trial. After I sign, she escorts me to an elevator. Judging by how big this place was, I assumed we would be up high. She opens a secret compartment where it has... negative floors? I ask her about the negative floors and she tells me the top floors are for the public eye. These negative rooms are basically just basements located down below and that that's where all the top secret classified stuff goes down. She selects floor negative two. We arrive at negative two. There I see the other people who are going to be in this alpha trial and before I could thank the host, she's gone. I talk to the others and find out their backgrounds. There's four of us and I was the fourth. In trial number, they had me labeled as patient number one. We hear a voice over the intercom and it tells us we have to go to sleep so we can be prepared for a long day tomorrow. One of us, patient number four, cannot fall asleep. So they send someone down to floor negative two. This person was a nurse, but he looked like he could play in the NFL. He forces number four, the Twitch streamer, to take these sleeping pills saying he could force him, he could force all of us, because we all signed this contract. After the nurse leaves, the streamer tries to leave, but we discover we're all locked in. He tries to go live on Twitch to tell people what's happening to him. Nothing. I guess since we're underground. He tries to call 911. Nothing. We all slept with a ton of worry that night. A few hours later, we're woken up by a doctor, and he explains that we've been selected for an alpha test of Fortnite in virtual reality. They made contact lenses that we're supposed to wear and test them to see how the game ran. They set us up in these chairs and they apply the contacts to the four of us. The doctors instruct us to say, Fortnite, start. And just like that, we were in a playground mode. The four of us. It was just tilted towers, and it was a 2v2, first to five kills. Simple enough. This wasn't even a beta, so it was perfectly fine for it to look like that. I go down a hallway and 
explore some of the map in VR. I hear screaming. Then I heard a second voice screaming. Then a third. Finally, I scream. What it showed me, what this alpha showed me was my past in detail. I had to see the body again. I had to face my brother dead. I had to see how it happened. Something I never knew before, but that this Fortnite VR alpha filled in all the blanks. What felt like hours of torture, we come out of the simulation. I look at the other three. Two of them are just as sweaty and confused and scared as me. The fourth one. He gouged his eyes out. I guess so he didn't have to see the horrors anymore. The same big nurse comes and removes the person who gouged his eyes out. He was patient number four. We look around at each other, shocked that this happened. The doctor comes back and he says, Thank you for participating in the Alpha. What Test Subject 4 has experienced is a side effect. We are working to improve this with the thanks of you in this Alpha trial. Thank you for staying on board for 60 days while we complete this trial. We will find you a fourth test subject, I, I mean Alpha tester, soon. I look at the other test subjects and we knew this wasn't an Alpha test for a video game. This wasn't VR. This was a lab and we were their test subjects.